In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly why you should start batching your YouTube videos if you want to grow your YouTube channel in the long run. Now, this is something I've only recently started doing and I only wish I started a lot earlier and not after uploading 50 videos. So what I'm going to share with you first is what exactly does batching your YouTube videos mean so that we are on the same page and we have the same understanding and then I will explain what are the pros and cons followed by how I batch my YouTube videos and finally I will explain why batching your YouTube videos is so very important if you want to see consistent growth in your YouTube channel. Hey guys, my name is Kevin and my channel talks about side hustles and personal finance. And in my channel, I share with you the importance of having side hustles and why you should have one if you do not intend to work in a 9 to 5 job forever. And I'm going to show you how I do it from scratch by turning my YouTube side hustle into one of my new income source. So be sure to subscribe and follow to see how this goes. Alright, see if you can relate to this. You're about to launch a video on Sunday and it is already Friday, yet your video is still not done yet. So you brought out all your gears, you get into position, you turn on your studio lighting and you start recording your video. Once done, you edit your video to make it look pretty and entertaining, do some touch-ups and then you upload to YouTube and it underperforms so badly, you're about to jump out of the window. But you can't jump out of the window yet because you still gotta prepare for next week's video. So what I just explained to you is what I have been experiencing for the past 7 months, which is about the time when I first started this YouTube channel. And when I first started this channel, I literally had no idea what I was doing. All I know is I wanted to be consistent with my uploads and I wanted to upload at least one video a week. But the thing is, I started in July, so I had to play a bit of catch up because I wanted to produce a year worth of content. So what I did was, instead of uploading once a week, I uploaded two videos a week. And we all know when we first start a YouTube channel, we are all very excited, we're all pumped up, and we feel like we can accomplish anything. And that is exactly how I felt, that is exactly what I did, and that's how I got through it. And I started pumping out two videos a week at that time and guess what happened? I had no time to prepare a proper script, I did not do proper keyword research, I did not create a good thumbnail, I was rushing things and I couldn't do a good video editing. But there is a plus side though and that is I managed to kickstart my YouTube channel and get myself into the rhythm of producing consistent content. So it's not all that bad. But the absolute worst of all is I was at the age of getting myself completely burnt out and at some point I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. All I know is I wanted to get those videos out because I placed those stress upon myself and so I totally deserved it. But lately I've started batching my videos, meaning instead of recording video just for next week, I also started recording videos for the week after or for next month. I started recording two videos in one sitting instead of spreading it across the week and I gotta say, it is not easy and it can get pretty tiring. So what's changed for me? Well, nothing really, it is just that at the beginning of this year, I started to upload one video a week instead of two videos a week. And because I know that my time in a week only allows me to produce two to three videos, then uploading one video a week to YouTube would also mean that every week I am creating much more content in advance, hence batching my videos. And let me tell you, I am so glad I am able to do that. Let me share with you the benefits of batching your videos first. Number one, less stress for yourself. Now, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I run my own business. I have other side hustles. I have other projects to manage. So my time is quite limited. At some stage, because I was producing fresh content to be released every week, I got myself so stressed out because I was so busy and I literally was looking for more time in order to complete my other projects. Because I shoot my videos in the day due to good natural lighting, this pushes me to work on my other projects during the night. So I was sleeping at 3 to 4 a.m. every day. Not only that, all my other work were affected because I was tired, I was lacking in sleep, and I was easily annoyed because the moment I finished shooting one video, I already had to start thinking what to do next. Batching my videos helped me out tremendously in reducing my stress and it makes me want to create more content again. Number two, and you're going to love this one, giving yourself some room to breathe, giving yourself some time off without compromising your channel's growth. For this, I was really thankful that I batched my videos because a couple of weeks ago, I was feeling unwell. I was completely knocked out. I lost my voice. I couldn't speak without coughing. I don't have the virus, by the way. It is just a common flu. 
And I was in that state for three days. I didn't want to do anything but rest. And after I recovered, I still couldn't get into the mood to shoot a new video. And as you all know, having the right mood when creating a video is very important. And so I was so glad that I batched my videos in advance that when I was feeling well, I was recording two videos a week, meaning in just two weeks, I've already completed a month worth of videos. And that gives me the advantage of not having to rush things. And if I fall sick, I can rest without having to worry about missing an upload. Okay, I understand that I can just choose not to upload, but I'm just too damn disciplined. And besides, my OCD nature will not allow me to miss an upload anyways. Number three, regrouping yourself. The one thing about creating a video to upload the following day or week can take a toll on us. And sometimes I find myself creating new content just for the sake of it. And that totally takes the fun out of it. And at some point, it feels like a chore, like I was struggling to come up with a topic because I didn't have the time to think and research. But having batched my videos gave me more time and I can think and I can get a little bit more creative with my videos. And you know as YouTubers, our creativity comes at the most inappropriate time. But when it does come, we need some time to think about it. We need some time to break them down into smaller chunks of content. And we need some time to create the next batch of high quality videos. So those are the three pros to me. Less stress, getting some time off, and regrouping. Having said that, there are some negative sides to batching your videos. So let me share that with you too. Problem number one, you cannot write on trends. This is probably a not so good one. So one of the methods to really grow your channel fast is riding on trends. I mean, just a few weeks ago, the whole GameStop and Robinhood fiasco is all over the news. And every single YouTuber who talks about finance, investment, and business, they all voice out their opinion. I mean, it is literally free views for their channel. But if you're batching your content, then you will most likely miss the trend because, well, you can't predict what's going to happen in the future. But to be perfectly honest, this isn't as bad as it sounds. For me, if I were to batch my content, I will make sure that I will batch evergreen content, meaning the content I create will be searched all year long, next year, or the year after. This gives a longevity in the video. I mean, I don't like creating videos just for one event. That is just not my style. Having said that, it doesn't mean I can't write on trends. It just means that if I see something trending, I need to create a new video as soon as possible. And as for the rest of my batch content, it just gets pushed back to a week or so. So you see, it's no biggie, except there is one problem though. Problem number two is your videos will make you look a couple of weeks younger. So for example, in this video, I might look like this right now, but in reality, I look like this. Who the heck was that? Anyways, as I was saying, because you could be producing contents weeks or months in advance, you might look slightly different. Maybe you don't look as handsome or as pretty, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, people are here to listen to what you have to say, your opinions, and what you can share with them. And these days, YouTube has sort of become like a podcast. You can actually gain a lot just by listening. But hey, on the bright side, at least those videos reminds you of what you looked like a couple of weeks ago, and it will make you want to start taking care of your beautiful skin and complexion, right? Problem number three, we can potentially start to lose momentum. Now, to actually create consistent content is all about building momentum, because we all know that once we get started, we become unstoppable. But by batching my contents together, it sort of breaks that momentum and it allows me to be lazy. It is almost as if I'm given permission to be lazy. I can easily give myself excuses and go, I'll shoot the videos next week. So there is a tendency to procrastinate. And once you break that momentum, it can get pretty hard to rebuild it. So if you do intend to batch your videos together, my advice to you is do not wait too long to start your next batch after you finish your current batch. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? The only thing you get out of consistently producing batches of content is you get yourself more weeks covered. And that's the more reason you can go on holidays without worrying. Just remember to create evergreen content, unless you have this superpower that allows you to predict what's going to trend in the future. In that case, please share it with me. All right, so those are my three pros and cons. Now I want to share with you how I determine how much I should do and how many videos I need to create in one batch. Now I know for sure that I want to be consistent and my target is to aim for one video a week. 
So if I want to do this right, I need to be batching at least two videos a week. It doesn't matter if I finish those two videos in a day or in a week because either way, I would have produced two weeks worth of content. So first of all, I need to understand my own limit and strength, whether it is in terms of time, skill, or talent. So in terms of preparing this script, recording this video, and research, I know for sure that I can only produce a maximum amount of three videos a week, and that's pushing it. I would aim for two videos a week instead because I know that doesn't stress me out while still maintaining my momentum and I can still stay ahead. And now since I've decided to do two to three videos a week, the question now is should I do them all in one sitting or should I spread them out across the week? For you, I would say it is entirely up to you but you can try what I did which is do both of them and see which one works out better. I have tried doing two videos in a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And for me, that feels a little too tiring because if I talk too long, my throat gets really dry and I start to lose focus and my mind at that time, it just wants me to wrap things up so my video can feel kind of rushed. In the end, having it spread across the week works best for me and sometimes if I'm in the mood, I'll shoot two videos in a day. Because if I do two videos in a day, then that also opens up the rest of my week to batch another video or two and that's pretty awesome. So if you're wondering how to do it, definitely find out what pace is most comfortable for you and the best way is to try it out. Okay, here comes the most important question. Why should we batch our contents together? Now, after explaining all the pros and cons to you, I think the most important takeaway in this video, if you have learned nothing at all up till this point, is that consistency matters a lot to YouTube. Why does it matter? Well, first of all, it makes your channel look alive and active, and people will subscribe to you if you consistently produce new content. No one will subscribe to you if the last video you uploaded is three months old, and by doing this consistently, you solve that problem. On top of that, to grow your channel and to have the YouTube algorithm understand what your channel is about, one of the things I feel must be done is consistency. Algorithm is all about patterns. Once YouTube is able to see a pattern in your upload, then they can better evaluate the type of videos you produce and the niche you're targeting. From there, YouTube can better recommend your videos to the right audience because now they roughly know what your channel is about. And also, let's face it, YouTube likes consistency because it kind of shows your commitment to your channel and also your commitment to their platform. And YouTube, just like all of us, they want to show support to people who are serious and committed compared to those who are just doing it for fun, am I right? Well, if you do not agree, then probably just me. So yeah, I highly encourage you to batch your videos if you haven't done it before. I think being able to take some time off, being able to recuperate from YouTube fatigue is a good enough reason. We are all here to grow our channel, we want our channel to be able to educate and entertain, so let's not disappoint our viewers by missing an upload. We want our viewers to be happy because it makes us happy, and by batching our videos and creating them weeks in advance, we keep our viewers happy and it also makes us look like an immortal because we never fall sick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you learned by leaving me a comment down below. Please also consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. There's nothing left for me to say here, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll chat with you soon. See ya.